Charlesworth with me in commentary. You've been in this position many times. Do you have a favourite? Well, yeah, I think Australia would be the favourite to shade Germany, but we won't see what we saw last night, which was a very comfortable win for Australia. And already the Germans much higher tempo and tone to what they're doing. They didn't have to win yesterday, and after an early breakthrough for Australia, perhaps they took their foot off the accelerator. We won't see that tonight. We'll see real energy about them, and they're already pressing pretty hard, forcing the Australians into error. German free hit, Moritz Furster. Germany the most enterprising team here. Certainly they've scored many more goals than Australia, but Australia's defence has been the best by a considerable margin. I don't think we've seen Australia's scoring potential fully realised, but they've been getting better as the tournament's gone on, and yesterday would have given them a lot of confidence. Most recent form, apart from that game yesterday, that Australia won 5-0. It was a three-game series in Europe earlier this year. Australia won the first game and then Germany won the next two. And of course, the game that a lot of these lads will remember is the World Cup final in Mönchengladbach in September last year. And Australia seemingly had it won, only to be pipped at the post, and Germany winning by four goals to three. Of course, since then, Germany has a new coach in Marcus Weiss and uh, while there's been some criticism you have to say they've been enterprising here and I think they're playing a more offensive game than we've ever seen from Germany before hence their scoring capacity their goal making capacity in this tournament and this tournament an elite level tournament it's fitting that we have the number one and number two ranked teams in the world playing off in the final. Australia's most recent Champions Trophy win was in Chennai in 2005. Germany's came in 2001. Corner ball to Germany, forced out by Bevan George for Australia. Sebastian Dragoon over the ball. John Marco Montag. Back to Timo Bess. And Germany have had the ball for most of the game so far. Just happy to feel it on their sticks, content to be making the play. Oh, it's first up. Swapped out by Matthew Wells, only as far as Sebastian Biedelach. Crossed over the top by Timo Bess, cut out by Mark Knowles. Travis Brooks now. Turns the ball at the side. Tobias Halker. An energetic start from Germany. Much more energy than they had yesterday. Oliver Henschel. Held up by Dean Butler. And by Gary Simmons. Waiting for the advantage. There was none. Germany's free hit. Montag. Slapped across up into the body of... Brent Livermore. Off the stick of Matthias Withouse. Perhaps unlucky that it wasn't blown for lifted into the body. Well, Livermore not happy with that, and I don't blame him. The ball was fired in there. I don't know if it was even a shot at goal. What's he to do there? Oh, no, I can't agree with that. Never mind, it's given. Germany have earned eight, or converted eight of 30 penalty corner opportunities. Australia have conceded just three of 16 they've had against them. It will be Tobias Halker to push out from the back line. Seaborg Weissenborn, Weissenborn to stop the ball. Montag faints. Bess! The captain scores! In the fifth minute of the game, Germany go a goal up. That's a variation we've not seen at this tournament. Timo Bess creeping up there. Well, I think we've seen one ball go to him, but not with the same effect. And he got that right inside the upright. Lambert dived. He would have been uh, unsighted, of course, by the second Australian runner who couldn't get there. And that's the start that Germany wanted. That'll lift them. The stage last night, they were a goal down. Now they're a goal up. And Australia have got the job ahead of them. Mark Knowles puts the cross in. Nobody there to get the deflection. 
Well, already this game has a different complexion to last night. And this will be a good test for this Australian group. They've passed most of the tests they've faced in the last half decade. And here's another one. Maximilian Moore. From Marco Montag. Precise work from Germany. Bison Bourne. Jamie Dwyer. Naylor couldn't get it back where he wanted to, into the feet of Livermore. Bisonborn takes it quickly. Carlos Nevado. First up. Two number nines going at it. Knowles. Lovely ball. Out to Bess. Devin George stopped it, couldn't hold it. Tobias Halker. There's the corner again, charged down well. A real energy in life about the German movement. They're not going to give Australia an easy run tonight. They've already shown that. It was to be expected. And how often do you see it? One day, one result. The next day, the other team comes out with a completely different mental attitude. And a lot of what happens at this level of sport is about your mental approach. It's what happens in your head that's more important than any of the other stuff. Stick of Moritz first up. And he had someone in front of him, someone behind him, and one on either side. Keller took his time and Ockenden stole it. Sebastian Biedelach. First up. Took it out unassisted. Australian ball at the side. A bit of Australian pressure there, that's what they need. They have to match what the Germans are doing. Schubert. Both benches getting a workout here. Conditions still very warm, very humid. You can see by the amount of sweat on all of these players. And the early possession wreck going very much Germany's way. 62 to 38. And of course what that does is the Australians start to watch the game rather than participate the game. had a lot of the ball and it was what happened Australia not really getting hold of it Benjamin Bess forwards a bit Grant Schubert Nathan Eglinton Travis Brooks found a foot Strogan free hit just outside the attacking circle. Really steady rain falling here, but it's still mighty warm. Wells, dangerous ball. And umpire Gary Simmons. Trainers just can't get hold of it. A number of traps just spilling. It's often what happens in this situation. And the team making the play. There's the view from behind the goals. Beadleack. By a lovely ball. Liam de Young, who sparked at least two of the goals for Australia last night. Devin George. Dwyer got the 
deflection easily handled by Schulter. Going towards the goal at start. George. Hockenden was the target. Here's the ball. Dwyer just got it touch, but Schulter easily. goes back to Maximilian Muller. This again. Lidhouse. Good tackle by Mark Knowles for Australia. Schubert sets it for Dwyer. Three for Schubert again. Clean tackle by Muller. Well, he did well, Muller. He had to make that interception. He's been quite a find in this tournament, hasn't he? He certainly has. He's not the most creative player once he gets it, but in terms of doing his defensive role, he is very solid, very reliable. He knows what he's doing back there. And that's what you want. Wells knew that he had Sebastian Dragoon behind him, just played at the safety. Germany's possession. Butler. Got the tackle in, then Butler. Ben Vess. No shot taken. Knowles played a straight bat, straight to Dragoon. Lambert saved it. Now it spills to Dwyer. Turns on the afterburner. Jamie Dwyer couldn't get past Benjamin Vess. Ball back in again. Nicholas Emmeling. First up. Loose ball in the circle. Again, Bithouse will finish a great save. Stephen Lambert, that is miraculous. I'm not sure that he didn't save that with his face mask. Well, someone knocked the goal and the goal, the goal moved. You couldn't tell whether it hit the post or not, but it looked like it was going straight in the middle. And I think he just got back there and it hit him in the face. Pretty sure you were right. Well, he made position. Well, there it is. Knocked away by Butler. Dragoon did very well. Came back across. Whithouse thought he had a goal. Oh, hit him in the head. Using your head. Well, great speed. He got back there. He got up. He didn't stop. Look, Look at, at this. this. Yeah. There well done, is. Stephen Lambert. Marvellous effort, but really Germany making all the play. They're tigerish. They're working hard, they're chasing, they're forcing errors from Australia. They, they're doing to Australia what Australia did to them last night. And uh, we saw in an earlier match the same thing. Deflected off the stick of Nicholas Minor, gets it back and then plays it straight out of play. Dwyer, Matthew Naylor outside on the left, Dwyer cuts right instead. Russell Ford, Moore's sure trap again, and the outlet to Hauka. George. He was going to Naylor, and Dwyer just reached for it, and knocked it away. Bad luck. Under pressure, puts it straight out. David Guest on for Australia. Evan George sends Bithouse one way, then the other. Bithouse keeps chasing. Fire again. By Furster. Rob Hammond on for Australia. Right idea. The lead was being made by Russell Ford. 
And Australia are getting there. There's the lead, not quite coordinated, but they're getting there, but not crisp enough yet. Better. Germany, really lively. Can they maintain it? That's the question. Australia should be able to handle this tempo. It's their tempo. Bit. Nice ball inside. Nicholas Ameling. Advances on the circle. Back of the stick. They can't do that. Matthew Naylor. Straight onto the stick of Bit. And Witter's chase was the thing. He made the interception because he chased. the ball from Nevado. Looks to give himself some space. Releases Naylor. Onto the feet of Carlos Nevado. He says, but it was higher. Um, not really. More, more pleading than anything else, yeah. I suspect. <laughs> Trap to Ford. Dyson Born. Mine it. Bitter. Dyson Born again. Stick check by Rob Hammond. And Rob Hammond saying, well, no, he actually protected the ball with his stick. Umpires find that difficult. Same thing happened in reverse that time. This last time Hammond gets the free hit. Last night Hammond got a ball in that position and there was no one near him. He was able to run as far as he liked. Schubert working for the penalty corner, none forthcoming. But tonight there were two Germans right there confronting him. That's the difference between one game and the next. That's 24 hours. And the, and Germans, the gold medal, of yeah, course. And the Germans have stewed on that result. And it's their motivation. It must be remembered they're without perhaps their best player, Christopher Zeller. One of the most dangerous players in the game, so we're not at full strength here. Eglinton had the advantage, but will take the free hit anyway. Ford, well controlled. Faced by his opposite number 10, John Marco Montag takes him onto base. Matthew Naylor was there, couldn't get it on target. Well worked by Russell Ford. It was better, and Naylor just couldn't get it back enough. But Better from Australia. They're clawing their way back into the game. 20 minutes gone, just the one goal scored. Timo Bess in the fifth minute from a penalty corner. They have the Germans on the sideline as the Germans are doing here. They're not giving Australia an easy outlet. They're chasing and they're making interceptions. Sitting on the bench, taking the breather. Nevado with the intercept. Pushed it straight into the stick of David Guest and then held Guest's stick. Hammond weighs up his options, decides carrying the ball's the best of them. Does just that, looks forward now. Not kept in by Nova. He just tried to knock it back to Hammond, couldn't quite control it. Germans. And it's a sort of half press but not really convincing. Their heart's not in it. And so the Germans can get out too easily. 
Excellent touch. You're not going to get it back unless you're really com committed to doing it. Alka. Weisenborn. Down the line for Bithaus. Guest held him up. Weisenborn deflected over the baseline by Bevan George. Corner ball to Germany. Still they apply the pressure. Australia all 11 players back in or around the circle. Now the chance for a counter attack. Hammond. Schubert. Good run. Grant Schubert. Can he finish? No, he can't. Great save. Not sure it was going in. It was. It was going in, I think. That's a great save. It's Muller. Maximilian Muller. We said what a good defender he was, and he showed there what you have to do for serious defender. Hammond! Rob Hammond topped it then. Is he okay? Game, a Dutch player sort of jumping out of the way, and we said, well, in the final, that won't happen. Well, now there's trouble. That was really, really tempestuous of Nathan Eglinton. The German player swung first, then Vess. And then Eglinton had a go at him. Should be reversed. Well, I don't understand. Eglinton looked like he hurt his hand in that tussle. He's got the free hit. And his hand oh I see his hand got hit by the stick at the other time at the same time I think that's what happened yeah perhaps it's not as theatrical as we thought well, he was poked in the back by Eglinton Eglinton's stick that's the reason that they're doing it and it's effective Alka the defeat of Aaron Hopkins German free hit Yeah, it was a high ball. He wasn't going to get away with that one. And Germany pressing again. And successfully. Australia having difficulty getting out. Chance, Witthaus, or minor it is. Hopkins under pressure, did okay. And again, hard running, this time from Muller, provides the interception. And what Muller did is he jumped in front, and the Germans' aggressive work is paying dividends. Aaron Hopkins in defence there. Interception, but just couldn't keep it, Australia. Bidhouse. Devon George, Midhouse takes a tumble. Possession being dominated by Germany. And they are asserting themselves in the best possible way. Australia looking to force it and Miss falling down. Miss Q by Knowles on the overhead. This trap. Vitter. Off the foot. First uh, right idea. Vithaus in position. Very close to the baseline though. Marcus Weiss there. He'd be happy with the way his team's played. You only play as well as the other team allows you sometimes, and Australia are finding that tonight. Russell Ford takes on Beadleac. Should have the free hit. Advantage paid. Then he took it out. Well, there was an advantage allowed, and then he went over the back line, unfortunately. He was interfered with. He probably would have rather had the free hit earlier, but he really did get the advantage. Couldn't control the ball. Timo Bess. 
deliberately left by Bison Bourne. Well, he knew if he trapped it, he had an Australian right on him, so he thought the better of it, let it go through. If he'd had a player behind him, it would look like a marvellous move. Toss over the top, the defender gets the ball. Well, the German was right next to Bevan George, and it's a tough one. On for next year's Olympics. There'll be more pressing in these critical matches. Another one here would make it very, very comfortable for Germany at half-time. Montag, deflected away by Lambert. Damn good effort there by Lambert. He's been very good here. He need, he's needed to be tonight. One miraculous save with his helmet. All he could do was get in the way, and he did so, and fortunately he saved the ball. The ball for feet, there was no foot. A little improvisation. Is it, was it Knowles then who snatched at that one? He, just, he, he normally would have had it, didn't yep. get it, and really nearly crossed the goal. Florian Keller went for the little lob. Here's the, here's the corner shot. Look at that. That's a great save. Well done. Ball taken round to the left more. And fired to the goalkeeper's right. He dived to save it. Brad Schubert. Hit, making a nuisance of himself. Giving up the free hit, but holding the advance. And that was his intent. Matthew Wells, Jamie Dwyer, been quiet the last 10 minutes or so. Nevado, all raised up, Dwyer's free hit. Wells offloads to Dwyer, straight onto the stick of Bisonborn. Keller, showing some pace. Gets away from Knowles, that's no mean feat. Florian Keller, for a big man, or treated Livermore roughly, gets away with it. And eventually, the defensive work done for Australia by Matt Wells again. Well, he's exhausted Keller, I think, after that run, but it was very good. And as you say, he just kept letting Knowles get closer and then accelerated away. This man's fast too. Liam DeYoung set up two goals last night. What can he do here? Is that a foot? Yes, it is. Well done by Liam DeYoung and... Oh, the penalty corner off a foot. Wire charged down that time. Charge down came from Bedlock at the other end. With Lambert. Bravado upended. No foul. The best to Sebastian Bedlock. First up, Tobias Halker. Ball off Halker's feet. Greg Livermore opts not to take the free hit, leaves it for Bevan George. Knowles to Wells. Dean Butler. Eddie Ockenden. Monstered from behind by Jean-Marco Montag. Taken quickly by George. Jamie Dwyer. Left, right, Paul. Raised ball, not penalised. Schulter comes out. Christian Schulter, the goalkeeper for Germany. Oliver Henschel now. Well, the Australians were given the advantage of the circle there. Nearly scored. Schulter 
in the end clearing. Better start from Australia, even though they're a man down. Eglinton has been off for nearly 10 minutes now. That's normally the sanction for a breach like he was accused of. Retaliation on Ben Vess after Vess had swung at a high ball. Foster with the free hit, all the way back to his captain. Montag. And when the Germans fire that ball around the back, there's real tempo to it. Urgency about it. Eddie Ockenden. Liam De Young, first got there first. Halker takes on Dwyer, no mean feat. He had uh, and that got to an Australian stick first. The previous ball and De Young would have been all the way through to the circle. And there's openings here, they've just got to sharpen their technique, tidy up the crispness. It'd be handy if they could get Eglinton back on the field. Germany really effervescent in the first half. They pressed hard, they played with real tempo, real determination, and they forced a lot of errors in the Australian way of playing. Mark Knowles. To Matthew Wells. Looks long. Schubert. Trap and wins the free hit. Again taken relatively quickly by Livermore. Liederlach was there for the cutout. This is Witthaus. Sebastian Dragoon back to Thurster. Bison Bourne shadowed by Dean Butler. Got around him, held up, has the advantage, plays on. Alka. Straight to Knowles, releases Livermore in midfield. Into the attacking half. Dwyer just eluded him. No chance, Bithouse. Closing on the circle, shadowed by Wells. Goes for the cross, beautifully done. Henschel almost on it. That was as close to 2 nil as you'll get. And Lambert was there covering it. He was the last line of defence. Here's the piece of play from Whiphouse. He does very well. You won't go too close to him because he could get the corner, but there's the ball fired across. Almost perfect, and Lambert went for it. So did Henschel, neither got it. Neglington's been off now for... Nearly 14 minutes, that is a long time. There he is. You're getting cold on the bench, not that you could in this weather, but uh, it's a long time. It's a severe sanction. Loose pass, Lidhouse. Through ball, Henshaw, Lambert came out, closed him down. the Australian bench, I would be, there's the shot, no worry there, no danger, I'd be letting them know about Eglinton, because the umpires sometimes just forget, they get absorbed in the game. Schubert, Maximilian Moore got back there, still Schubert, weighing up his options, found Dwyer, good defensive work by Tobias Halker. And he needed to do it, and he did well with Malka. Put his bulk in the way, Dwyer was nearly through. Umpire Chavi Adele just had a look at his watch, so he's aware of how long Eglinton's been off. Corner ball, Liam De Young took the shot and was deflected. Even with 10, Australia doing better. Making some possibilities here. the through ball, the deflection from Russell Ford, just wide, very nearly, good ball from Wells, he hits that long ball well, there it is, and Russell Ford gets the deflection, and Schulte was out of position really, but fortunately for him, he got covered, oh no. Rob Hammond, 
to Brent Livermore, Jamie Dwyer. Well waited pass. Schubert gets inside Beadle at, working for the penalty corner. Gets just the free hit outside the circle. Well, it was well and truly in, wasn't it? Hopkins. Hammond. Well, Muller just stood his ground then, covered his feet. And Hammond was unable to win the corner. He was looking for a foot. Still Nathan Eglinton waits to be invited to come back on. Seven, it's 15 minutes now. It's a very, very long sanction. Nicholas Emling brings down Rob Hammond. I think they've forgotten him. Well, Chubby has looked at his watch a couple of times. Chubby Adele, the umpire at that end. Meanwhile, Hammond advancing on the circle. Corner ball for Australia. Sustained pressure from Australia. And perhaps the Germans starting to get in the frame of mind where they're defending the lead. Nice trap by Wells. And that relieves the pressure for Germany. Ford is going to let it run out. Well done. German player really could have committed to that. Nothing to lose by going. seen a player off the field for as long as Eglinton. It's now in this half nearly nine minutes. Nine, that's nearly 18 minutes. Well, maybe it's going time. to be a 20 minute suspension. Pretty harsh for what happened. Good play. Nova. Until the swing didn't connect. Goalkeeper needs some tape. Well, perhaps an opportunity to remind the umpires about the position of Eglinton, and they don't seem the least interested. And there, that ball played away. He wants some tape on his stick. Yep. Andreas Pappenfuss. Germany's physio and stick fixer. That's umpire Adele. And there's Nathan Eglinton. We saw in an earlier game in the tournament, we saw one of the players come onto the field before he should have. Yes, one of the Pakistanis, and their captain was suspended. So you don't want to transgress there. Here's a chance. Brian Schubert running away from Bisonborn, brought down. Penalty corner. Well, he was chasing him, and he did interfere. It was only a minor thing. And Livermore perhaps saying, well, what about also that breach? Ress is arguing, but there's no question. Yes, got yeah. him. Yeah, no. It might have been just as they crossed the 25, I suspect. Oh, it was outside. But he landed inside. He certainly did. <laughs> and Ress is saying, well, he did it outside. It shouldn't be a corner. But if he did it deliberately, it probably should have been sent off. So... Now a chance here for the Australians because Luke Dorner is on the pitch. And if ever they've needed him to convert one, they need it now. Dorner's got three for the tournament so far. Break by Bisonborn. And by Simmons. Well, that's now 20 minutes that Eglinton's been off. Dorna. Great save. And he got a bit on that. It was powerful and shorter. Marvellous save. Australia much better in the second half. They're making chances. No one there. Shorter stepped over it. He must have known there was no one there. Here it is. Dorna, powerful. Well, that's a very good save. Just yes. got the glove to it. It's got enough on it. Very powerful. It's 
21 minutes now in the send bin for Nathan Eglinton. Dorner's challenge. Here's a free hit for Germany. On the reverse, on target two. Lambert carried it away. And Dorna clears. Hammond. Good tackle again from Moore. The little axe pass cut out by Dwyer. Hammond had stayed up. covered it at that angle you've got to have a fantastic shot to beat the goalkeeper was in position and balanced Germany at the back well they've played uh, nearly 15 minutes of this half with an extra player and Australia have had the better of the chances Livermore Butler more run forward from the Australians. Very hard to create the opportunities when you're a player down, though. So they're working that much harder. Well, a salutary lesson, of course, this will be to the Australians. You can't afford in such a game to be a man down for so long, although it seems a very, very severe sanction given the theatrical nature of the German response. Here's Naylor. There's one out. Looking for the penalty corner. Overplayed it slightly. Moore just shadowed him and invited him to try to go past. Protecting his feet all the time. And Naylor wanted a foot, couldn't find one. Travis Brooks working his way into the circle. Hammond. Shorter was there, lost the ball, but had stopped it. Another tense moment in the German scoring circle. Good work. Cameron gets it. Shorter, another save. And didn't know where it was. He had the angle covered well, though, didn't he? Well, last night, a couple of those shots went just past him as he was running out. Tonight, they're being hit into him. Javi Adel has just looked at his watch again on the other side and looked at Nathan Eglinton and looked straight back in field. 15, you're talking now, it's nearly 24 minutes. That's extraordinary, I've never seen it. Hauke to Montag, back to Hauke. Hopkins put the hand in. Cool tackling by Guest. To their credit, the Australians are playing with real composure. Better organisation, better tone. And they're getting the rewards. They're making the interceptions. The Germans starting to look ragged. Livermore. I'm sure we found the foot of Montag a while for the whistle to go. De Young in some space. Hammond up to join him into the feet of Maximilian Muller. Furster did well. Dragoon here. Liam De Young chasing back hard. I venture to say, Dorna will get this. I venture to say that if Australia can get a goal back, then they've got momentum. They're starting to cause grief for the German defence. Xavi Adele has just signalled to Nathan Eglinton to start stretching, which was a nice touch. 
<laughs> That's the danger. He could come back on and he could... <laughs> there he is. He's back on. Let's try to get back to full strength. So 17, nearly 17 minutes of this half and eight and a half or nine of the other. That's uh, 26 minutes. That is a very, very severe sanction. Now, the Australians have parity. They're running. They're looking more energetic. They're passing with more purpose. The Germans have lost a little bit of their sting. Beautifully done. Dragoon there in support. They've lost shape and attack, the Germans. They're not really purposeful ahead of the ball. I'm sure they're just waiting for a counter attack. Australia to overcommit, perhaps. And here we go. Another Young. interception. On the burst is Offenden. Takes more left, works back inside him, looking for the penalty corner. Has kicked it himself. Germany's free hit. Well, nearly a wonderful piece of play. Stopped the ball dead. Cut back inside. It was nearly very well done. Look at that. And he was interfered with. He probably, probably a bit unlucky, but then it rolled back onto his foot. But there's penetration. Australia are making more and more happen. Germany starting to look like a team that's just hanging on. Benjamin Vess, the man against whom Nathan Eglinton retaliated to get suspended. Withhouse. It wasn't a shot, it was a cross and therefore it was dangerous. <laughs> and it was a trap by Draguna. Well done by Vess here though. Well, balls fired across Dragoon. Well, he wouldn't have been able to, he wouldn't have allowed that. Good work by Benjamin Vess. There it is. Whithouse didn't mean to fire it in that position. Here's Eglinton. Slip ball through for Liam de Young. Both tackle is well timed by Timo Vess. It's a beautiful pass. Lovely weighted pass. Brooks all the way back to Mark Knowles. Charge down. Australian ball. Muller's foot. Yeah. Knowles looks like he's limping. Knowles took a knock on the knee too. circle to receive back to Hopkins George once again weighs up the options puts the cross in Schubert was there he was there on the other side on, of the circle waiting on the post there it is he went over his stick closer all the time 15 minutes is plenty of time you can make five six seven chances in 15 minutes if you're playing well Germany starting to think about holding on, I'm sure. Ooh. This trap, unusual. And Dragoon earns the corner. Guest was there, well covered. Just a missed trap there by George, could have been costly. Knowles. 
Davis. Edlington rolls it back to Hopkins. Good work by Novato. Very good work by Carlos Novato. Well, a bit of body too. He's a bit fortunate. decided in the first couple of minutes uh, and a goal in the first five minutes is the, the difference between the, the side still is 12 to go some urgency Germany hanging on they haven't had the ascendancy in the second half they had in the first half even though Australia was playing for nearly 20 minutes one man down Schubert has been busy in the second half Free hit just outside the circle. Schubert and Dwyer combining. Hopkins brought forward for the hit. Beadlack bustling with Russell Ford. Ooh. Dangerously hit ball by Aaron Hopkins. Timo Vess says no harm done. He's tough. How many of those balls go in the air? And, oh. and of course he didn't see <laughs> he it. He's all Beadleck like ducked. Beadleck jumped out of the way. Good luck, Timo Vess. Nicholas <laughs> Emmeling. Vitter. Ball, we get out of it. Guest under Navarro's foot. Wyatt. Very nearly. Now Hammond. Can he break through? Free hit. Dangerous situation. You've got to find a stick in the circle. A little deflection. Found one for the deflection, but only for the corner. Well, Nail is saying it hit a foot. And Paul Simmons won't have any of it. Good work by first up. Got in front. Keller. He's a pretty canny player, Keller. Keeps it. Oh, spillage. Oh, very lucky first. Very, very lucky for Halka. Gets up. Nicholas Emling. Out came Lambert. 
Simon now. And some space ahead, Eglinton. Couldn't reach it. Just needed to accelerate and uh, couldn't find the gas. Time becoming the enemy for Australia now. Less than eight minutes to play. Dyson Bourne. He's been very good, really, hasn't he? Best on ground for mine tonight. Well, he's, he's so safe when he gets possession. He's always there, he's busy. Dragoon, clever. First up. Why gets it out to George. He's going to run. He wants to go the whole length. Send on goal or attack the goals. Well, yeah. Ford, that's got to be a penalty corner. No, just outside the circle, says umpire Simmons. Desperate, desperate play by the Germans. There were two or three occasions there where it looked like a corner. Fighting to hold on. Players from both sides have to be five metres away, and it's inside that dotted semicircle. There's tired players out there, they're really trying to make it work. Wells, the guest, puts the cross in, picks up his own rebound. And Bithouse just sends it to the other end. The guest would have been hoping for an Australian to nip in front of the goalkeeper there. There it is, no one ready for the tip with the deflection. Tough work by Biedelak. He's been very good for Germany too. It's gone out. Six minutes. You can have two or three chances in six minutes. Germany hanging on. Australia pressing. Nathan Eglinton's foot. Well, the Australians retreating. I'm not sure that they ought not press at this minute. Yeah, they're chasing now. This man's been very good, Reisenborn. Look at that. He found one of his teammates. Hammond finds Dwyer. Can he ignite the Australians? Travis Brooks inside the circle. Deflected away. Australian ball at the side. Well, the Australians had to duck it. He's saying it was dangerous. And by Simmons. Confident. German ball. And Dyson Vaughan in the thick of it again. And then he tries to take it quickly. Makes an error. Dwyer. Oh! Well... Naylor trapped it, tried to knock it inside, there it is to Travis Brooks and very nearly, here it is, little pass, Clever. Brooks just couldn't quite get it. Wills brings it down, still five minutes, just over under five, it's time to make chances, Australia pushing, pressing. Dwyer, intercepted by first, worst ball, spills to Minot. Germany in no hurry to take the free hit, as you'd expect. And then Luke Dorner. Well done by Furster as well. Vithaus. Take tackle from Ockenden. Took the stick as well. And Whithouse made sure it was noisy. And we know a few more. 
moments, every moment they hold the ball is important. Benjamin Vess. He's had a lot of energy, hasn't he? So is this man, Tibor Weissenborn. A pair of shin pads near the centre line. Jamie Dwyer. with him, Hammond into the middle, and again Travis Brooks so close to scoring. And Schulter just a toe, saved it with his toe. Bison Bourne, Brooks, nobody there for the rebound. Schubert was on the pads, nobody back off. Well, just in a couple of minutes, two or three chances. Weisenborn again. He's been fantastic, hasn't he? So he'll, run. he'll run to the other end. He just wants to hold it there. The Australians have to chase him all the way. Good tackle. De Young. Dwyer slips it inside for Brooks. Some tired men out there. You have to keep doing it, you have to keep making good passes. Dorna penetrating. Here's the free hit. Nothing more for it, you've just got to maintain position, make good passes, look ahead, keep leading, keep winning the ball. Two minutes, Devin George. Minot got in front of Brooks. Important interception for Germany. Well done by Wells. Gets it back again. Schubert. Hammond advancing on the circle. Muller, did he give him a push? Not according to the umpire. Well, Rob Hammond had his moment there. Just went away from him. Just lost balance somehow, didn't he? And there's the chance before. Well done, Schulter. And there's Brooks' chance. And he's been full of action. A minute and a half or more. And Australia's still going. Germany holding firm, though. Well, will there be another opportunity? You can make an opportunity in only 30 seconds. Eventually, time runs out. George. One of these teams will be the first to claim nine Champions Trophies. Germany have one hand on the trophy. Jamie Dwyer has other ideas. Brilliantly saved off the line by Benjamin Bess in combination with Schulter. Well, did that hit the post even? Cannot get any closer than that. Brilliantly done, Benjamin Bess minute of the game all or nothing now for Australia the world's number one ranked team against the world's number two and the number two team is about to claim a record making ninth champions trophy title Hammond De Young Found a foot free hit just outside the circle. Last 20 gasp. seconds. Schubert. Nobody touched it. Germany is celebrating already. The last 10 seconds of the game. It's all over. Germany stand alone with a record number of champions trophy titles. They have won their ninth. Just a single goal in this game. Scored by Timo Vess on a penalty corner in the fifth minute. They finished on top of the table after the minor round. They were the best team at this tournament, and they've proved it tonight, taking the title 
in a nail biter at the end. An Australian not served well by that suspension to Nathan Eglinton. More than 25 minutes in the sin bin. Unprecedented at this level. I don't think either of us have ever seen anybody sent off for that long. But take nothing away from Germany. They deserve this win. They've worked hard for it. They fought back after beating, being beaten 5-0 by Australia last night. And they've won the final by a goal to nil. Well, sometimes these games are decided right at the beginning and in the first 10 minutes, the Germans were effervescent. They made a bunch of chances and they scored from a corner and then they played pretty well for the rest of the first half. Australia lost Eglinton, that hurt them. But that was a very brave performance in the second half by the Australians. They fought and fought and fought. They made a number of chances. They got a lot of penetration. They couldn't finish. Schulter was brilliant in the goal. Weisenbaum and uh, and some of the other defenders from Germany held on. Vess was terrific. And there you are, 50-50 possession. Circle penetrations, 21 to Australia, 12 to Germany. Eight shots to four. But uh, shot saved, eight to three, that's the difference. And penalty corners three, well, Australia certainly very brave in the second half, but they lost the game in the first 10 minutes. And nice to see uh, Benjamin Vess just went over to Nathan Eglinton, put his arm around him and said, sorry about that. I'm assuming he's saying that I never thought you'd be off for that long. Grant Schubert worked very hard in the second half tirelessly. They just couldn't convert. He had a couple of chances of his own, set up a couple. And the German crowd salute their heroes as well they might. Germany deserved victors tonight. They hit the table at the end of the qualifying rounds, despite that loss to Australia last night by five goals to nil. Clearly the best team in the competition during the uh, qualifying games. They scored 21 goals, conceded 14.